In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tamper Monkey. First, open up the browser of your choice, then in the search bar, type in Tamper Monkey, like so. Find the link that is most relevant to your browser. I use Brave, which uses Chromium, so I'm gonna pick this one. So Tamper Monkey, add to Brave. Go ahead and add extension. Once that icon for Tamper Monkey pops up, you're gonna right click on it and go ahead and pin it. That way it's easier to access. Uh, from here, you can go to the website where you want to make edits on. So I'm gonna to go to my website. And uh, let's just say uh, I have this title here and every time that I load the page, I want it to say hello world instead of I teach people how to code fast. So with that, I'm gonna do the following. I'm going to click on Tamper Monkey. Go ahead and click create a new script. The important part here is that at match is on the URL or the URL pattern uh, that you want your script to run on. So because I just want to change this to hello world, uh, that's only going to be on my home page at first. I'll show you something more advanced really quickly. So I'm gonna say const h1 equals document query selector. So we're just adding the relevant JavaScript to do the thing. Text content equals hello world, like so. Uh, so go ahead and save this by clicking file, save, or you can press control S to save time. I like pressing control S because I'm a developer and that's easy. So uh, we're here. If you go here and refresh the page, you should see the change take place. Now, one thing to notice, only working on the home page. So if I go to any of my other parts, so offers, projects, etc., it still says whatever the H1 is. So hello world. If I want to make that work on more than one page, I need to go to my script, go to the edit action and change the at match here. So this is just the URL pattern. So if I want it to work on every single page, I'm gonna put a star here, like so. I'm gonna save that with control S or file save again. I'm gonna go to my website, go to offers, refresh the page, and it works here. So uh, one thing to notice is while it does work here, it's not here as soon as I load the, po the project, but if I refresh, it is. Now that is because my website in particular is a dynamically rendered JavaScript site built with uh, Nuxt.js, which uses Vue.js as well. Uh, so the pages are loaded dynamically and it's like a really smooth flowing experience. So what if you actually want to make it work on every single page on a, what's called a spa application like this one. So. To do that, you're going to need one feature that I just learned recently. So this is the, you're going to need to add the following. So window dot uh, on URL change inside of grant here. Uh, if you get this wrong, like if you just make a typo, you'll notice this little um, ESLint warning symbol and it you'll just notice that and it won't be working. Uh, so to actually use it, you do this. <clears throat> So you're going to say the following. So if, um, or actually you can say I think like this. So window dot uh, add event listener URL change, and then you can have your code inside of here, like so. It should work something like this. So I'm gonna save this, go back to my website, try to refresh, hello world is working here. Now what about if I switch here? Boom, it works here too. What if I go to uh, projects? It still works. Now what if there's a transition in between the two parts? So you see every time I change, it actually works, but it's happening a bit too fast. So if I wanna slow it down a bit, all I have to do is go here, you can just set a slight delay on this. So you can say uh, set timeout, or you can do something creative with like a while loop or something. Uh, both can work. So uh, to use set timeout, you just add a callback function, which is just a function. You, you pretty much just add a function that does what you want it to do. So first argument is a function. So I'm just gonna put this inside of here. Like so. Then you're gonna set a time for it to actually, like, it's you're basically setting like a wait time for it to run. So, because I've tested this before, 
I made this version of the video, I'm gonna put one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. I'm gonna save this, and it won't be like as pretty, but you'll get the picture. So I'm gonna refresh here. Boom. Once after one second, it works. So I go to about. After one second, it shoots off. Go to offers. Boom. Home page. That is it for this video. If you like the content, subscribe. My name is Zach Ploche, and I teach people how to code. Until next time, bye for now.